Even casual fans will recognize head coach Bernie John standing behind his team on game days. But what most people don't realize is that Coach John serves as the vice president of hockey operations. John's GM duties take up about 70% of his time, from managing the roster and the salary cap to the copious amount of paperwork that this position presents. John also plans all of the team travel, their itinerary, all the while serving as the point of contact for both the Chicago Blackhawks and the Rockford Icehogs. You know, there's all kinds of those little things, and there's a lot of roster movement. Uh, you look at you know, what we've done throughout the year, the roster, and every team's been in the same boat. Uh, losing guys to Europe that you can't control and the hard part when you lose those guys it's you can't replace them because you don't have much to trade when you lose guys and so those all kinds of those little things that always have an effect on what your daily your day looks like and it takes away from the coaching side at times because you just don't you're doing so much of the and I don't want to say it's petty but little things that other things can be taken care of and stuff you know obviously you do want to break down video of your own team and correct mistakes and go over it and then you want to break down video of the teams as much as you can that you're playing coming up against so you can be prepared the next game and then you want to tailor your practices at times or your power play to those kinds of things so it does affect that kind of stuff i mean the other thing we deal with is is with rockford you know which we have a great relationship and all that stuff but the up down things and stuff like that that you know one day you can have two of their guys and two days later they could be sending you four or five guys now you got to readjust your whole roster and doing some different things or uh, you know where somebody you know <laughs> I sit at home and I make sure to watch the Hawks games and every night you're knocking on wood nobody gets hurt especially the two in the back end. What attracted John to coaching in the first place was his passion for the game. He began working with the youth level and then the junior team when he realized he wanted to move to the higher levels. You know that's that's how I got into it. I always wanted to stay to hockey. It's it's a passion of mine. It's I don't do it um, just for doing it or for the money. I do it more because I love it. I love trying to help guys and you know wherever this takes me, it takes me. If it's to the next level or if it's here or if it's doing something else at some other point, that's that's where I see myself. But I'll always still be in hockey. As John cites helping his players as one of his favorite parts about coaching, one would think he favors that side of the job. I. I thought it would be more of coaching, but I think I'm 50-50 right now, to be honest with you. It's, I like both sides. Uh, you know, I like both sides of it. I do like coaching. I like helping the guys, develop them on that. Even on the GM side, you can help these guys with their careers because at times we're the team, we're the guys as a GM, not even just a coach, calling some American League teams, see if they need a, a good body and trying to push one of our guys because, again, it's a recruiting thing to help uh, these guys get up there. So. It's, uh, I think some people would have thought maybe it's all about the coaching, but I like a little bit of both. It's been a, it's been a challenge, obviously. It's a first year. Regarding this team, John hopes to develop a nucleus of pieces to build from moving forward, a luxury he didn't have this season. The rest of this year is to make a good push and, you know, see whatever happens, happens. But we have to obviously start winning games and finding the right pieces and then going in the next year, you know, finding the right pieces that come in here and work hard and then a nucleus of guys coming back where you have five to six guys that grow and learn together then they command the locker room. It takes time to, to build where you want to get to. I mean not, uh, not a lot of expansion teams have the success you want to have. Some do right away but some can have early success and then have a long-term failures and do different things. So it all depends. I mean obviously we're not happy where we are. We want to be pushing playoffs and see where it goes.